Hey y'all, welcome to this week's grocery haul. So hello everyone, how y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a good weekend. We just rolled back in from Walmart. We did Walmart grocery pickup today, as per usual. Anyway, we spent $137 and some change this week. We only had two unavailable items, which I could not believe. I was very pleased and thankful to Walmart for having my stuff in stock. Thank you, shout out. So, I don't have a meal plan for you guys this week because we are on the fly because it is vacation week. My brother is headed into town. It will be here Sunday, which is tomorrow, today that you guys are viewing this and um anyway we usually just uh play it by ear on what everybody kind of wants to eat every night so i didn't really plan any meals so you know what that means right lots of snacks <laughs> and lots of milk so new jersey is going to have a um surplus of milk this week because my nephew is going to be in north carolina all week <laughs> He loves milk. So anyway, um, I'm going to get on into this. I'm going to share with you guys what I picked up at Aldi's first. We did stop there in the middle of the week to fill in. And then we'll share with you guys what we picked up at Walmart this week. All right, guys. All right, you guys. It is Wednesday. And if you know me, it is Aldi fill-in day. Just left there and spent a total of $16.97. Mainly just needed milk and some chocolate syrup to make chocolate milk with. But guess what? didn't get any chocolate syrup so anyways all right I left my bag of flour tortillas open unfortunately and they just went stale so I had to get some more of those and then I got some of this salsa con queso here and some of the white round tortilla chips to have with that I got some more of the Express Mac here because Harrison really loves those and then over on my Facebook page I follow the Aldi nerd and there is um, a cool little couple of ladies that are on there that um, tried these out and really liked those. I was like, next time I'm in there, I'm going to look for them. And I found them. So they're the pub style pretzels. I got two gallons of milk, which is one of the things I definitely went in there for. We were completely out of sugar. How does somebody run out of sugar? I don't know, but we did. So, you know. I saw these chocolate crunch bars in the freezer section, and so I wanted some of those, so we got those. And then the last thing that I picked up was this strawberry kiwi juice. I was trying to look for something different besides just apple juice all the time. So that is what we got at Aldi's today. All right, you guys, as usual, we got one loaf of our white sandwich bread. I'm sure we'll have to go back to the store and fill in middle of the week, but I'm always worried my bread's gonna go bad, so I always just try to get one loaf here lately. Um, we've got two bags of Malto Meal cereal here. I got the Coco Dino Bites with marshmallows. I have not been able to get those in weeks and weeks. Those are our absolute favorite. Um, and S'mores is a very close second, coming in almost first now. But we love the S'mores as well. I got three boxes of Little Debbie cakes. So I supported my local Little Debbie man at the Walmart today, which happens to be my uncle. <laughs> we got a, a jelly cream pie. We got some chocolate chip cakes, and I don't know if you guys have not tried these. They are delicious. The turtle brownies, yum, yum, yum. Cannot wait to have one of those. And then we are going to the lake. We're kind of doing like a staycation. We're not really going anywhere. We had thought about going to the beach, but we didn't know with COVID how things were going to be, so we just never booked anything. And so we're going to just do some stuff around our town and around, you know, close by. So we're going to the lake on Monday. And I just decided to go ahead and get the single bags of chips to take with us. Um, so everybody kind of has their own. And, you know, water and chips don't mix. They get soggy. So <laughs> everybody can just use, just use their own little bag and get their own little chips soggy if they want. So anyway, this has got 28 bags in it. It's a bunch of different kind of chips in there. So everybody should find something that they like. We got 24 ounces of bacon here. I upped this this week because you know, people are going to be here. I went ahead and got one pound of sausage here because I think one morning I may make a breakfast casserole. And then I got a pack of a string cheese here for snacking. And then I got, I think, of the sweet cream salted butter because we were running low on that. I went ahead and got a block of cheese and that will more than likely go in that breakfast casserole that I was just mentioning. And then here we have a box of cheddar cheese crackers, aka 
Cheez-Its. Um, these are just as good as Cheez-Its and much better price. I went ahead and got some more of the S'mores Pop-Tarts. These seem to be the boys' favorite, so we went ahead and got some of those. I went ahead this week and got two bottles of the Hershey Simply Five to make our chocolate milk with because the kids will be here and they, they love chocolate milk. So do my kids, so we upped it a little bit. Anyways, moving along, I got two cans of the Great Value Cinnamon Rolls. We really like these. They're good and I think almost half the price of the brand name. And then I went ahead and got a carton of the Minute Maid Tropical Punch to make me a mama drink with this week. We got some more of the chicken nuggets. These are really good chicken nuggets and the price is spot on. I got two pepperoni, oh, two pizzas. I got a cheese pizza here and I got a pepperoni pizza here and these are a really good price. I figured I would just make these one day for a lunch um, for the kids and for, you know, whoever's here. You know, the neighborhood kids like to hang out too, so I wanted to have plenty. And then shredded hash browns, that will more than likely go in a breakfast casserole that I'm gonna make. I got four gallons of milk. The limit was three. It would, they would only allow me to add three of the 2%, so, <laughs> you know. You do what you gotta do when you need what you need. So I added one of the whole milk, which I don't think anybody minds, you know, how fat their milk is. Anyway, <laughs> we've got um, some more eggs here. We were not completely out, but I wanted to make sure I had those because when you don't have nothing else, if you have eggs, you have food. I've got back here in the back, if I can move all this stuff so y'all can see, I went ahead and got four of the Clear American um, cases this week. I got two peach, I got a cherry limeade, and a strawberry. So, you know, we'll just pop those in the refrigerator. We'll take some to the lake and we'll have drinks. We've got a 12 pack of Scott here. I typically go for the great value that is like Scott, but they were out of that. So you do what you gotta do. You gotta have toilet paper, AKA striking paper. Anybody else call it that? We got some more Diet Pepsis here cause we were out of those. And then any mamas out there with babies in diapers, y'all will be interested in this. If not, sorry. I'm about to tell y'all. So uh, a couple weeks ago, I had bought the Parents' Choice diapers. No, ma'am. No, sir. Was not happy with those. We're using them up because I don't waste money. But I still love loves. Those were just not for me. Some people may love them. They may like them. But no, I can't deal with it. They were just, no. I can't. <laughs> so, okay. Anyway, moving on. That's all I'm going to say about that. We got 40 bottles of drinking water here um, for the week. We were running out of aluminum full. I call it tin full. And so I went ahead and got that. I like this because it's not, you can't blow through it. It's nice and heavy duty, as it says. We were running out of wipes and they did not have a big pack. So I had to get one small pack. So I'm sure that'll be on my grocery haul again next week. And we were running out of gallon bags. I like to, when I open up bags of chips or anything, that could go bad quickly. I always like to put them in Ziploc bags um, to keep them nice and fresh. And then, I think this is the last thing here. We need some more straws. So that is gonna do it for this haul. All right, you guys, that is gonna do it for this week's grocery haul. I hope you have enjoyed taking a peek inside of what we'll eat in this house this week. I know it's a lot of snacks and a lot of junk. We didn't get a single fruit or a vegetable, but it's okay. We'll survive this week. Anyway, don't forget to go over and follow us over on Instagram. I'll leave my handle here on the screen for you. We just have a lot of fun during the week, and I like to share funny stuff about mom life <laughs> because I've got to take pictures because nobody would believe it if I didn't. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. I would love to have you as a new friend here. We post grocery hauls, meal plans, and what's for dinner videos on this channel every single week. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. I love chit and chatting with everybody down yonder. So anyway, I will see you all next time. Y'all have a good one. Bye.